Let us see the propagation of plane electromagnetic waves in a conducting medium. We have considered a linear homogeneous conducting medium having permittivity epsilon permeability mu and conductivity sigma also the medium is charge free and also free from external current and the currents existing in the medium is due to the induced current by the electromagnetic waves itself. Therefore, current density J is equal to sigma E. Also, any charge distribution within the conductor dies out quickly and the charge goes to the surface making the charge density rho equal to zero. Now we have the Maxwell's field equations as del dot d equal to rho del dot b equal to zero del cross e equal to minus do b by do t and del cross h equal to j plus do d by do t where d is the displacement current displacement vector b is the magnetic induction vector e is the electric field h is the magnetic field now using d equal to epsilon e b equal to mu h j equal to sigma e and rho equal to 0 these Maxwell's equations reduce to del dot e equal to 0 del dot h equal to 0 del cross e equal to minus mu do h by do t and del cross h equal to sigma e plus epsilon 
दो ई बाई दो टी सो लेट दम नेम ए बी सी डी एंड ऑल दिस बींग इक्वेशन वन नाउ टेकिंग द कर्ल ऑफ equation 1c and using equation 1d we have curl of curl of e equal to minus mu 2 by 2t curl of h now this is equal to del del dot e minus del square e this is equal to minus mu and using the value of curl of h from equation 1d we get do by do t of sigma e plus epsilon do e by do t now using equation 1a that is del dot e equal to 0 we get minus del square e equal to minus mu sigma do e by do t minus mu epsilon do to e by do t square now this becomes del square e minus mu sigma do e by do t minus mu epsilon do to e by do t square equal to zero let this be equation number 2 similarly taking the curl of equation 1d and using equation 1c we have curl of curl of h equal to curl of sigma curl of e plus epsilon do by do t curl of e now this becomes del del dot h minus del square h equal to sigma and using the value of curl of e plus epsilon curl of e do by do t minus mu 
dou h by dou t. Now, since from equation 1b del dot h equal to 0, using this in this equation, we get minus del square h equal to minus sigma mu dou h by dou t minus mu epsilon dou 2 h by dou t square or we can write it as del square h minus sigma mu dou h by dou t minus mu epsilon dou 2 h by dou t square equal to 0. So, let this be equation number 3. So, this equation, these equations 2 and 3 are called equations of telegraphy. Now, the plane wave solutions of solutions of equation 2 and 3 are E vector equal to E which is E R T function of position and time equal to E naught e to the power minus i omega t minus k dot r and h is equal to h naught e to the power minus i omega t minus k dot r where E naught vector and H naught vector are complex amplitudes which are constants in space time. Also k is the propagation vector now substituting the solutions uh, let us name this equation number 4 now substituting the solutions for in equation number 2 And using the fact that del square e equal to minus k square e dou e by dou t equal to minus i omega e and dou 2 e by dou t square equal to minus omega square e we get using these values in equation number 2 minus k square plus i mu sigma and omega minus or plus mu epsilon omega square 
e equal to 0 and also using 4 in equation number 3 we get minus k square plus i mu sigma omega plus mu epsilon omega square h equal to 0. Now for non-zero solution we get k square equal to mu epsilon omega square plus i omega sigma mu. Let this be equation number 5. So we can see k is a complex quantity. So we can write k as let k equal to alpha plus i beta and let name this equation number 5b. Now from 5b k square equal to alpha square minus beta square plus i to alpha beta. Now let this be equation number 6. Now comparing equation number 5 and 6 we get alpha square minus beta square is equal to omega square mu epsilon and 2 alpha beta is equal to omega sigma mu. Now let us find the values of alpha and beta. Now for this we will use the fact that alpha square plus beta square whole square is equal to alpha square minus beta square whole square plus 4 alpha square beta square. Now alpha square minus beta square whole square equal to omega square mu epsilon whole square and 4 alpha square beta square is equal to omega sigma mu whole square. Therefore alpha square plus beta square whole square is equal to omega square mu epsilon whole square plus omega sigma mu whole square. Now taking omega square mu epsilon whole square common we get this equal to 1 plus omega sigma mu by omega square mu epsilon whole square. So from here omega and omega cancels out and mu and mu cancels out. So we have this equal to omega square mu epsilon whole square 1 plus sigma by omega epsilon whole square and therefore alpha square plus beta square is equal to omega square epsilon mu 1 plus sigma by omega epsilon whole square 
टू दी पावर वन बाय टू और लेट अस राइट इट लाइक दिस ओमेगा स्क्वायर एप्सिलन म्यू अंडर रूट वन प्लस सिग्मा ओमेगा एप्सिलन होल स्क्वायर हियर वी आर नॉट टेकिंग द नेगेटिव वैल्यू बिकॉज इट इज a value which is addition of two squared quantities so we are emitting omitting the negative value and we are only taking the positive value therefore we manage to find out alpha square plus beta square that is equal to omega square epsilon mu under root 1 plus sigma by omega epsilon whole square and we all already know alpha square minus beta square is equal to omega square mu epsilon therefore adding these two we get 2 alpha square is equal to omega square epsilon mu 1 plus sigma by omega epsilon whole square under root plus 1 or alpha square equal to omega square epsilon mu by 2 1 plus sigma by omega epsilon whole square plus 1 or alpha is equal to plus minus omega under root epsilon mu by 2 under root 1 plus sigma by omega epsilon whole square plus 1 and this whole to the power 1 by 2 in the limit sigma equal to 0 mu tending to mu not and epsilon tending to epsilon not so in equations 5a and 5a and 5 b these are the equations this is 5 a and 5 b we get k square is equal to mu epsilon omega square and k equal to alpha or alpha is equal to omega under root epsilon not mu not here k square will be mu not epsilon not omega square so this gives the correct value of alpha as being the positive one or we can take alpha equal to omega under root epsilon mu by 2 under root 1 plus sigma by omega epsilon square plus 1 and whole to the power half so this is i think equation number uh previously we have taken up to equation number i think uh, uh i think we have taken up to equation number 5 and uh, 6 equation number 6 so 
let this be question number 7 so similarly if we solve for beta we get beta equal to omega under root epsilon mu by 2 and only difference is that in place of plus 1 there is a minus 1 inside so let this be equation number 8 now in terms of alpha and beta the field vectors E and H take the form E equal to E naught to the power minus I omega t minus in place of k we write alpha plus i beta alpha plus i beta and we take unit vector in cap dot r and this becomes equal to e naught e to the power minus beta in cap dot r e to the power minus i omega t minus alpha n dot r let this be equation number 9 similarly h equal to h dot e to the power minus i omega t minus alpha plus i beta n dot r and this is again equal to h dot e to the power minus beta n dot r e to the power minus i omega t minus alpha n dot r and let this be equation number 10 now the above equations nine and ten so that the the field amplitudes are spatially attenuated and this is due to the presence of the term e to the power minus beta n dot r this quantity beta is the measure of attenuation and is known as absorption coefficient or attenuation constant this depends on frequency omega and conductivity sigma now 
case 1 for a non conducting medium sigma equal to 0 and so there is no attenuation. Now case 2 for a conducting medium sigma by omega epsilon is much much greater than 1 so that alpha and beta are approximately equal therefore alpha equal to beta equal to and we had calculated this value of beta here it is in equation number 8 this is omega under root epsilon mu by 2 1 plus sigma by omega epsilon whole square minus 1 to the power 1 by 2 and this becomes equal to omega under root epsilon mu by 2 and this is under root sigma by omega epsilon here we are neglecting 1 and we get this value and this is equal to omega square epsilon mu by 2 sigma by omega epsilon whole under root and omega and omega cancels out uh, epsilon epsilon cancels out so we are left with omega mu sigma by 2 and let this be equation number 11 now the quantity one by beta is the measure of is the measure of the depth at which electromagnetic wave entering a conductor is attenuated to 1 by E that is equal to 0 0.369 of its initial amplitude at the surface. This is also known as skin depth or penetration depth. Into a 
conducting medium thus the skin depth delta for a good conductor is delta equal to 1 by beta and this is equal to under root 2 by omega mu sigma this is equation number 12 now if this is the free space and this is the conducting medium then the variation of amplitude is like this this attenuates like this so uh, we end here and the next video we will see other things related to the propagation of electromagnetic waves through a conducting medium.